Today I have this DJI Air 3 drone in front of me and in this video I'll show how you can set this drone up, connect it to your phone and overall prepare it. So let's begin by taking care of the remote controller. So by default you have those sticks hidden underneath the RC, so right over here somewhere. So you will need to begin by taking those sticks out one by one and screwing them in clockwise inside this slot here, inside this joystick. So once those sticks are mounted, you can uh, take out the phone mount. Here inside you'll find the Type-C to Type-C wire. If you plan to fly this drone using your iPhone instead, simply take out this wire and replace it with the uh, included lightning variant or lightning wire that you should have gotten inside the packaging or alongside the drone itself. So now let's take one of the ends of this wire out. Now what I want you to do is to take your phone. Before you start make sure to download the DJI Fly app on your phone. Uh, well, if you have any problems with that we have a separate video on how to install this app and where to get it from. So check that video out if you need uh, additional guidance. So ideally, or actually before that, let's not launch the app. Let's simply mount the phone first. So I'll do that, mount the phone. So this should do. Now connect it to your remote controller using this built-in wire. Here you go. Now power on the remote controller by pressing the power button once and then pressing it again and holding. Here we go. Uh, now, as you can see, once we did that, this little pop-up window appears that asks the permission, uh, asks us to give the DJI Fly app the following permission. So do that, provide it with such permission. Then the app should be launched automatically. Wait until everything will be initialized. Here we can skip this introduction provide it with all um, essential permissions, then decide if you would like to join the DJI product improvement program. I'll uh, skip the step for now. The same goes for the login and registration. So let's continue providing it with all essential permissions. Here you go. Now we gotta wait for a few seconds once again for it to initialize. Here we go, everything should be fine. Now, uh, in order to control, so with the remote controller, part of things is done. Now we need to connect the remote controller with the drone itself, and by default from the box they are automatically paired, so you should not encounter any dishes whatsoever, uh, not dishes of course, uh, issues whatsoever. So you need to, in theory, you just power them on, and they are automatically connected, but let's see. So here, let's begin by taking this uh, camera or gimbal protection. So push this uh, part of the protector in like that, and the protection comes right out. Now unfold the legs starting with uh, rear legs, or, or actually front legs, excuse me. So unfold the front legs first, and then rear so the legs are unfolded, now we can power the drone on. So here you have the power on button on the opposite side of the camera. So press the button once, then press it again and hold it to power on the aircraft. So the drone is powered on. Now let's wait for everything to initialize and to, well, calibrate itself. And as you can tell by the fact that the drone's camera view has been automatically launched, on our phone. The connection was established successfully, the drone and remote controller are paired, as you can see the camera feed works just fine. And now you can just, uh, now you can take this drone outside and start flying it. And well, as far as this video goes, that'll be it. So that's how you set this drone up. If you have any questions or you perhaps encountered some issues while doing that, um, do not hesitate to use the comment section below. But as for now, thanks for watching and bye-bye.